one, power up. Flying toasters make their way over to the right side of the switch. Out, shoot, and scored. Got to get that last team to cross the line. No joy there. Blue Alliance, one robot across this autonomous line. All right, step up and drive. It's power up. Flying toasters down to the far side. Sniping some of those power cubes off the Blue Alliance side. Going after the switch quickly. And a backward reverse slam by the Flying Toasters out of South Lion. Got one robot up on, there they go. Now they're back in the game. That's the 7143 machine, the Cyber Eagles out of the Motor City. Flying Toasters working with the human player on the far side of the field. Picking up some of that low hanging fruit and scoring wildly on the Blue Alliance switch. They take command of the switch. Red Alliance has got the scale in the middle of the field. The switch on their side, and now they have to switch on the Blue Alliance side. Dropping another one up on the top shelf. Down to 71 seconds left to go in this match. Here on the Ishin Field in Livonia, Michigan. Flying Toasters getting through their null zone. And the 6633 machine, the Robo Elephants pick up a foul, blocking the ro flying toasters in the Red Alliance Null Zone. Down to 31 seconds. We'll wait for it. That sound you'll be hearing at the last 30 seconds of each and every match in qualifying and elimination rounds. It signifies the end game. Flying toasters up onto the platform. Down to 12 seconds left. Flying toasters up on top. Now going kind of perpendicular to the bar. We got five seconds left. Oh, it's a swing and a miss. Trying to get a hold, but they still park up on top of the platform for some quick, easy points. All right, the lights are green. Let's get these robots off the field and get ready for qualification match number two. And here's our scores. Picking up two ranking points with a new high score of the day, a 321 to 83, the Red Alliance.